torso target. Okay, got the Winchester Model 12, 12 gauge shotgun. It's a pretty old one. It uh, used to be my uncle's, and now it's my brother's. And I've got these, uh, looks like it's Winchester or Remington Express Magnum um, slugs. And uh, I've shot these well at 150 yards. I'm not quite sure about 200 yards, but I'm going to try it. If I do any good here, I'll try again at uh, 225. Had to rearrange those plants so I could see what the heck was going on. But I don't really see anything I could say was a hit. So, I'm going to say I hit high. This looks old, but that is new. And I think I hit right there. Hitting the dirt. So I'm on the right height. Well, I only have two more slugs, so I went to 225. Yeah, these, these are probably hand loads. That's probably why they don't have any writing on them at all on that side right there. And uh, I think they're pretty stout by the judge of the skin rubbed off my shoulder. Okay, after examining the video, I see that the uh, bullets are destabilizing, even at 200 yards. My first shot at 200 hit right there. I didn't know it hit this thing, and I didn't really see anything, so I assumed I hit high. My second shot, since I figured I'd hit high, I aimed a little bit lower and hit on the ground right here. Then uh, I took one more shot and hit right here at 200. So uh, mostly the 200 yard shots when it hit over here. One time I hit center wise. You know at 225 you could tell that they were going off course. I had a really bad corkscrew with the one that came over here and then with the one that hit way to the left it just like veered off left real hard at the end of its run. So probably at 180 or so yards starting to go transonic and it's the air is buffering against it causing it to wobble and tumble. It just doesn't uh, doesn't have any way to stabilize itself since the bullet isn't spinning. You know it's probably spinning somewhat and I think that's what gives me the uh, rightward curve. 